this is Wise Gemini, aka Intellectual Gamer. Uh, so the whole situation with why I haven't done any kind of uh, an upload because a lot of things have been going on in my life. I'm t probably like 15, 25 different things. Uh, starting on 6-21-16, case number one. I had my Ford C Max basically messed with the uh, uh, gangbangers, drug addicts, tweakers, hoodlums. It's just a bunch of nonsense and shenanigans. Um, I'm very distraught. As you can see, stolen stuff reward $100 or more. Thieves stole stuff out of a Royal Blue Force C Max Jansport Super Brake Backpack. Uh, inside backpack, Harbor Freight Tool Set of three vice grips, a lot of mail, about 45 pieces, 55 pieces. CD, my unlock tools for access tools, the same tools that the South Beach Toll, the TV show, uses. Uh, this happened between 7 p.m. to 7.15 a.m. or something like that. This is a uh, PC 488. The second thing that happened to me is uh, on 81 PC 594 attempted auto theft, attempted to steal vehicle. Case number one. Uh, my first car I bought as a car dealer from Mannheim, California. It's Mannheim, Anaheim. Uh, I drove the car about 8,500 miles down here, and I was trying to avoid an intolerant woman I don't like, an Irish woman I don't like, and then I put the key forward, and it, it got stuck uh, after I came back 22 minutes later. The key is stuck. I can't... Um, basically get it to turn because uh, this desires woman uh, you know I guess she defends her uh, the city for not letting the stuff be put out side uh, I said I don't come to your house and tell you what to put in front of your lawn and there's toy cars out there so that's what the lawns for so that's why I was trying to avoid that's what's one of the things that started the whole thing is uh, I came back 22, 25 minutes later and I had to pay the locksmith $180 and I gave him a $5 tip, $175 and then two days later I moved the vehicle um, down the street so the car got messed with when they cut the antenna wire, the DVD monitor, and they tried to take a screwdriver and do something to ignition to get it started, and then they left their vice grips, uh, fuses down in the passenger seat. They left their sweater and the DNA evidence. The police took a report, came out about 8, 9 o'clock a.m., they didn't take a fingerprint kit. This whole situation is intolerable. I have had nothing but problems this whole past year. I got banned up from Road One auction. Uh, how is it our fault? You got your vehicle that's stolen. Well, if I put myself on a motorcycle in front of a dumb driver, I'm more likely to get hit. If I put my car in a safe place, I'm less likely to get hit to get my car stolen. Yes, I probably should have left it out in San Marcos instead of putting it back to Escondido. This is, you know, other problems, you, you screw up one time, like, the other topic is LA Fitness banned me, I got bullied around because I said I used to be a former secret shopper, and I go down to their, to complain and call them out on the error of their ways, instead of having any empathy and understanding, I got bullied by a micro, uh, my, uh, control freak, my, a micromanager, power trip woman who messed me up I burned myself on a motorcycle 
I've had as problems with the Wounded Warrior Foundation. Well, oh, it must be you. If the majority said jump off a plane and get and jump in front of a car, and two people say don't because majority says so makes it right. Majority could be ignorant. Oh, believe me, I have a lot to say on this, and not enough time to say it. It um. Political correctness is just tyranny of manners. We always got to mollify our words to appease the reactionaries. Martin Luther King. Sincere ignorance. That's Charlton Hessen. Sincere ignorance and conscience to pity is one of the most dangerous things. Martin Luther King. Uh, you know, after eight loyal years of 24-hour fitness, you know, I'm talking about my philosophical rant on, on YouTube. I do a talk show on YouTube, and then I get persecuted because I'm making somebody feel uncomfortable and then some older guy says you can't use the handicap shower because uh, I said I'm allowed to from the district managers oh you can't use the handicap shower are you handicapped well because I'm not physically handicapped doesn't mean there's no handicapped older people get either wiser or more ignorant there's no seems to be no gray area I got a higher patrol ticket for after 15 uh, years of perfect driving record, and I just tried to get away from him, and I exited, and I guess I looked at him, and he kind of uh, I overstepped or something. It, you know, bullied me around. I had to file an incident with the sergeant in San Diego, and the same sergeant is investigating it you know I had to make it unofficial now it's official you know uh, honk my horn trying to oh no he's writing me a ticket he pulls me over I said hey, I'm just I don't know what you're doing I can't read your mind he's doing that round robin thing and I'm trying to make a left uh, and then he says I try to pass him well and then he stops for a minute and I don't know what he's doing, and I just want to get away from him. I'm annoyed. We're going like 25, 35 miles an hour. I want to exit. I had to call Mr. F fix it, Mr. DUI, Mr. F Mr. Fix a ticket, and oh yeah, you can't say your piece because oh no, he'll show up to court and contest it. If he doesn't show up, then you get away with it. This is nothing. This is two percent of the stuff that's happened to me this year. If you live my life for five seconds, you know how freaking frustrating how ignorant people are I'm a nonconformist I'm an indigo adult I'm a light worker we believe in teaching people knowledge and wisdom we believe we're reincarnating on this planet we don't have we can't compartmentalize we don't have a lot of tolerance or BS this is part one of about five seven eight parts I don't have the patience or inclination to finish all this right now because I got some stuff I got to do and uh there's uh, just a few things I got to take care of right now. I hope you understand because this is only 2% of the stuff that's happened to me. And this is why I don't make my movies. This is why I'm all preoccupied with all the BS, with all the ignorant people in life. Hindsight 2020, ignorance is is bliss sometimes because you see the faults and error ways of people. They look, point the finger, and they don't know their own faults. I hope you understand because I got a lot of talent. I'm a philosopher. Artistry, jack of all trades, diamond in the rough. I've done all kinds of jobs. See, I feel more humanity, less robotic. People can understand what's going on in our life. 